Hey everyone, welcome to That's Debatable with me, Dr. Michael Brown, where everything is debatable, but there's only one truth. On today's show, we're gonna be debating an issue that impacts all of us in one way or another in today's culture. The question we're asking is, should Christians affirm transgender identities? Debating this topic with me today is Reverend Dr. Megan Rohr. Megan is the first openly transgender pastor ordained in the Lutheran Church and the current pastor of Grace Lutheran Church. Megan served for over a decade as the chaplain coordinator for the San Francisco Police Department, as well as a chaplain for the homeless and hungry in San Francisco. Megan was also featured on the Netflix show Queer Eye. My hope is that instead of arguing about what's politically correct, we can argue about what is biblically correct. Thankfully, we have a great roadmap left for us by Jesus. In fact, Jesus says that there's lots of different types of trans people, and those who are able to be trans for the sake of the kingdom of God should accept that. Jesus offered an alternative, an ethic of living in love. I'm so glad that you're here with us because I want to put a face on the issue of transgender and say it's not just an issue, it's a person. It's a person like Megan. And by all means, we should be overflowing with the love of God and meet people exactly where they are. But Jesus' love is transformative. He meets us where we are and he brings us into God's best condition for us. The Bible is our roadmap. God created human beings, male and female. And that identity is always determined scripturally, biologically. I say the Jesus way is to meet someone where they are, to, to right where they are, to love them, to care for them as a fellow human being, and then to help them find wholeness from the inside out, rather than mutilating a healthy body, rather than putting them on hormones for the rest of their lives to be contrary to who they are. Wouldn't you agree with me that the Jesus way is to heal us from the inside out? So we know from ancient rabbis that there were six different types of, of sex and gender. So we know Adam, who is made by God, Adam means mud. It was a person who was put to sleep by God, who then had their surgery. And only after that surgery is there a definition of what is male and what is female. Later, Abraham is also called on to have his genitals modified through circumcision. As for Jesus speaking to a wide range of trans people, no, being someone that is a eunuch from birth means there is no sexual capacity and, and, and you cannot reproduce. Circumcision is not turning a man into a woman or a woman into a man. All of these things are relevant. It's trying to read something back into the Bible, which is why people reading scripture for centuries and centuries and centuries would never dream of the interpretations you're putting on this. 